Ladies and gents, another Klopp tactic, another Liverpool domination. Let's just get straight into it. Yes, this is the Klopp 4-2-3-1 tactic. Another Klopp tactic I have not covered yet. And as you can see, not dominating as much as we've seen before, but 90 points, clear winners to Man City 71. That is pretty insane. I've not seen that level of Man City just falling off. 11 losses right there. But Liverpool with 28 wins, 6 draws, 4 losses. Again, 90 whopping points. Aston Villa in third place scheduled to be 13th so very well done to them 20 7 and 11 and 67 points and then Everton in six so every single team in this group has made it to European spots so Everton in sixth again 16 12 and 10 with 60 points so Liverpool and Aston Villa get Champions League and then Everton get Europa League so far this tactic is amazing and as you can see, the tactic right here, sweeper keeper in defense, wing backs on both the left and the right in support, ball playing defenders in defense in both sides, a roaming playmaker in support on the left, a deep lying playmaker in defense on the right, two inverted wing backs in attack, an attacking midfielder in support, and in front of him, an advanced forward in attack. This is a custom gag and press. This is attacking mentality in possession, attacking width is fairly wide, play out of defense. Passing directness is standard, tempo is slightly higher, mix crosses, run at defense, and be more expressive. In transition, counter press, counter as usual, distribute to full backs and center backs, and then take short kicks. And then out of possession, high press line of engagement, higher defensive line. That is more what we've seen with Klopp that I know of, previous to that heavy metal football that we tried before. Trigger press more often, not much more often, so that's a little interesting. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution and stop the crosses. And then, nothing. If we get into their schedules, you can see starting off the season very nicely with a 2-1 win at home against Fulham. This is Everton, by the way. Uh, and then just a series of no green whatsoever. Man City away from home, nil 2 Nottingham Forest draw. Wolves lost in the EFL Cup second round. So out real early on that one. Uh, draw against Leeds. Uh, there you go. One all draw at away from home against Aston Villa. A, a 1-5 loss away from home at Liverpool. Continuing down. Very spotty indeed. Uh, and then only one friendly during the, the World Cup. That's interesting. Uh, but then Liverpool here. One all at home. There's a nice draw. And then a two all draw at home against Aston Villa. Finishing out the season better than they did in the start. Uh, the start was a little more spotty. Here you've got, what, five wins in a row. Uh, with some draws in there. So several unbeaten right there from February 4th all the way to uh, April 16th. So not too bad, but several more losses there before the end of the season. And if we go to Aston Villa up next, starting out the season away from home at West Ham, 3-2 win, very nicely done. Um, then kind of going back and forth and back and forth, losing out in the EFL Cup second round to Brighton. So two out in the second round, that kind of hurts. Cups are not great. Uh, Everton, there's your one-all draw at home. Some couple of nice wins. Man City, 3-0 at home. Uh, Liverpool, 0-4 at home. That's a bad one. No friendlies whatsoever. They're playing Southampton in the Premier League at the 29th, the 26th. No friendlies at all during the World Cup. That's really interesting. Uh, but FA Cup, they're going a little farther. Losing out to Chelsea in the FA Cup. Liverpool win 4-3 away from home. So that's a fantastic win. And then that draw two all away from home against Everton. And then finally, Liverpool, a lot more sea of green. Stop it. Immediately losing the first match of the season against Manchester United in the Premier League, nil one. But in penalties, getting that FA Community Shield over Man City, it seems to be much more of a Man City thing to win the FA Community Shield. We've seen Liverpool do it a couple times. But here we go again. Look at this sea of unbeaten run. Crazy right there. Champions League doing really well against Inter, Real Madrid, and Celtic. Celtic, I can see. But wow. Inter and Real Madrid, not, not teams you really want to mess with all that often. But losses in, to Real Madrid at home. So not away from home. Away from home, they drew, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, one all. A loss in the EFL Cup fourth round to Chelsea. Uh, continuing on in the FA Cup, though, 
Fourth, uh, one four loss to Chelsea in the Premier League, nil three in the Champions League round of sixteen, but two nil at home. Unfortunately, that drops them out. And as you can see, Leeds and Leeds Premier League win, and then FA Cup semi final win in extra time, and then winning against Chelsea in the FA Cup final. So there's two trophies that they've won this season. Very nicely done. A full sweep in May. Fantastic job, Aston Villa. That three to four at home. That's that just hurts. That should not happen at all. And if we look at the competitions, I'm not going to worry about the other two because this is the one that you want to see. Winners of the FA Community Shield, winners of the FA Cup, and winners of the Premier League. So a three-trophy season, not bad at all. Care about Cup, you don't care when you're Man City, when you're Liverpool, all that much because you're putting the youngsters out. UEFA Champions League, however, knocked out in the round of 16 by RB Leipzig. That is not a good result at all. And they only did it by a slim margin, so... That they should have won, probably should could win if you were playing on your own, as I always say. Overall, not too bad. Let's get to the Premier League stats, though. Most goals, 107 to Man City, 75. 71 for Aston Villa, 70 for Everton, so all in the top four. Not too bad. Liverpool, fewer shots against in second. Most possession, Liverpool at 51. Not a possession-based uh, tactic here. Most dribbles made, Liverpool, fewest conceded. There's Liverpool with 41, Everton with 50. Most shutouts, Liverpool with 14. Most tackles won, nobody. Most best completion, nobody. Most shots for Liverpool, 7-10. Man City, 6-6-9, so that's a lot closer. Everton and Aston Villa with 5-06 and 5-16 apiece. And then most points per game, 2.37. If you look at the players, however, Darwin Nunez with 30 goals in the league. Calvert-Lewin with 29. That is close. Danny Ings with his highest total since we've been starting this uh, new three-team uh, setup. 23 for Danny. Most assists, Mohamed Salah with 18. Gordon with 13 of Everton. Robertson, there you go, with 12. Uh, and Ollie Watkins at Aston Villa at 11. Most player of the match awards, Cavert Lewin with Everton at 8. Danny Ings with 7. And Darwin Unionist with 6. And finishing this out, just to look at the team stats. Overall, Dominic Cavert Lewin with 31 goals. Not a bad Paul whatsoever, especially since they were knocked out so early in the, what was it, the Carabao Cup? Highest average rating is 7.54 for Calvert-Lewin, so he is loving this tactic completely. Uh, most assists with Anthony Gordon with 14, and then most player of the match awards, Calvert-Lewin with 8. And if we go to Aston Villa, Danny Ings with 24 goals overall, Leon Bailey, highest average rating 7.14, Ollie Watkins with 11 assists, and then most player of the match awards, Danny Ings with 8, so 8 being the number here. And then finishing out with Liverpool, 41 whopping goals for Darwin Nunez. Again, not the totals that you've seen with Man City and Erling Haaland, but 41 goals, not too bad. I think actually we had one where he was uh, higher than this, but Mohamed Salah with 756 highest average rating. Wow. Most assists, Mohamed Salah with 23. And most player of the match awards, Darwin Nunez with nine, just above that eight. So overall, a fantastic job by all these teams. If we go to league table, just to finish it out. All three teams in European spots, you can't get much better than that unless you want to do one, two, and three. So this is definitely a tactic to check out. This is a much better version of Klopp's uh, tactic that I've seen uh, compared to that heavy metal football one that we did earlier. But overall, this is a great, fantastic place to start if you're any of these teams. Uh, and probably, I mean, a lot of these teams in the league, I kind of wonder how they would do if you gave them all the same talk, and maybe I'll do that as a test sometime later. But that is it for me, 7FM for the Football Manager blog channel, saying thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy.